Tuco. This is the 30-minute music hour. I'm Andy Moore from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Here's the get right. Silver get you in, then they on your goals. Only Lord Jesus, love you for your soul. I'd rather have Jesus, 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 Jesus. I'd rather have Jesus. Be my light when it's dark. I'd rather have Jesus. Be my light.
That was a song called Tin Roof Sky. This one is uh, Gypsy Russian Rose. Russian Rose. That was nice. Thanks. That was really nice. That's, uh, <laughs> that's cut one. John Duxbury, maybe you could get a, a shot at that good looking cover. That's cut one on the new record that's coming out in uh, this fall. Yep, November. November. Tin Roof Sky <laughs> coming out in November. Gypsy Russian Rose. Just beautiful. Who did the art on that anyway? Uh, a friend of mine back home. He's done the last Four, four or five of ours. Hmm. Yeah. He just keeps coming up with different stuff and just let him have free range to Well, he, he delivers. Up with stuff. Yeah, he does. He does yeah. a great job. Tom Feldman and the Get Rights, everybody. Why don't you in introduce us to, to the rest of the trio? Got Mr. Jed Stack on the drums. Mr. Paul Liebenau on the upright bass. Terrific stuff. All together, you've been playing together for how long? About uh, three and a half years now. Mm -hmm. And you told me that you were really more into sports than music when you were growing up. Oh, absolutely. So how did you get attracted to gospel and the country music? Um, from Rush at from, football uh, no. practice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I couldn't do the sports thing anymore because my knees are bad. And so about that happened about 17, which <laughs> I didn't have anything else to do. And so I started playing guitar and got really into blues, got really into Muddy Waters and John Lee Hooker. And then uh, from that, just went into it. Well, uh, that, getting into John Lee Hooker and the blues mm -hmm. like that suggests to me that you were playing the steel even before the acoustic. Is, is that I, how it went? I actually was playing the acoustic and I didn't really know what they were using 
you know, to get the sound they were, because I just had an acoustic guitar and I had no idea, you know, I grew up in the suburbs, what do I know, you know? And then I saw a picture of Sun House and I was like, oh, that's what they, you know, that's what makes that sound, you know, with, within the, the slide guitar stuff. Right. And so went out and picked, went out to Michigan and picked one up and. Did you teach yourself to slide? Yep. You taught yourself? Yep. So you came off the acoustic and taught yourself. Yeah, because I was trying to do a slide guitar on the acoustic, and that just didn't work. So kind hard. of a cul-de-sac. That, that just didn't work so hot. So and I figured it out. I learned it, but I, you know, to make the, it was, I needed to make the switch. And the making of this record that went pretty smooth. That one went really smooth. Mm -hmm. That was no I animals think, were hurt in the no, making of I this think record. It was, I think it was smooth. It was smooth mm -hmm. for me. It was our uh, fourth one together. So yeah, it's getting easier and easier. We didn't talk about this before we started, um, and, and I've never made a, a request uh, on the fly, but it's my birthday, um, and would you consider singing Salvation? Yeah. It's, uh, it's probably not, you, you hesitated. Well, I'm trying to, I, that's, I hesitated because I'm trying to think of what song that was. Right there. <laughs> song I know, I'm like, well, I'm wondering how, do you, how, did you, how would you know that song? Well, I have my ways. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, it sounds like if, if I got you on the spot here. No, you didn't. You actually yeah. helped me out. Oh, good. All right. We'll Remind. do that after, not this next one, but the one after. Is okay. that okay? Or do you uh, want, it doesn't you sound it? like you're going to do it at all. I'm, I am going to do it. I, I don't you think know, you're going to, are you? The thought process. And the whole birthday thing, it doesn't matter, does I, no, it? No, it definitely matters. My thought process was, I wonder if he's thinking about a different song. So okay. if I say yes. Well, I shorthanded it. Then yeah. I play the song that I, that I all right. is that, yeah. and it's not that. <laughs> Then you're gonna be like, "What a jerk!" Yeah. Okay. He, I got you. He said he'd play the right. song, and he, okay. didn't and he did it. Yeah. All right. Okay. So now we're clear. So that's good. All right. So that'll be that'll be like the second song of that this next. Be. Okay. So all right. Well, thanks a lot. Yeah. Well, uh, happy birthday, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. It's what a great way to spend it. Good. All right. <laughs> Glad you're here. All right. So get right. This is a song called Broadway. <laughs> by request for the birth for the birthday man so it's not not birthday boy anymore long since been <laughs> 
Was the one? Okay. <laughs> well, we also have a pedal steel player that plays with us quite a bit, and he's back home. He's an instrument repair man, and he had a bunch of stuff to do, guitars to fix and whatnot, and uh, 
we put out a CD over the winter called Pedal Steel Heaven, and this is that song, Pedal Steel Heaven. two train beat songs in a row, but, you know, I suppose I, I don't mind doing two train beat songs in a row. It's, uh, it's the drummer that. Three in a row, and I don't. Three in a row? It's too much. Well, this last song of ours came out uh, about a year and a half ago on a uh, disc called Sideshow Revival. And uh, it's called Redeemed. Who's 
are dames Cause how could I forget what you gave me that day How could I forget what you gave me that day It was just one drop And it was a dame Thank you.